<laughs> yes, gotcha. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh my God. Beat us down to one panel left. There it goes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Round two, Witch Doctor versus Minotaur. Three, two, one, go. Both robots down two panels. It'll come down to the end. Am I? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Minotaur takes it. <laughs> All right, round two, Minotaur versus Witch Doctor. In a very narrow defeat, Minotaur takes it away. Going on to the final round, Minotaur versus Tombstone. The final round, Minotaur versus Tombstone. The battle everyone wanted to see. Three, two, one, go! Tombstone gets the first blood. Almost knocks off the second panel. Tombstone still untouched. Minotaur down two panels. Looks like Minotaur's panel's coming loose. Two for one. Oh, he got both of the back ones. Both robots now only have the top panel left. Oh! <laughs> and it, oh, left down to the last second. They both knocked him off. I'm going to give this one to Minotaur. I think that was a hard fought battle. In the judge's decision, Minotaur takes it in the final round. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>the hexbug <laughs> battle bots line uh, we introduced last year with the arena contained two uh, remote control robots tombstone and witch doctor and the full arena based off of the real battle box uh, this was one of our biggest hits last year it's actually one of the most successful products hexbug has ever had uh, so to continue on with that this year we're adding on to the remote control line with beta signature giant hammer as well as minotaur with the spinning drum on the front these will be available as the rivals set for $49.99 and Minotaur actually features an LED light on the inside, adds some interact, uh, little, something a little more dynamic. And then, of course, Beta with the breakaway panels. You can see all the internals, see the gearbox, see the circuitry, batteries. Just very uh, exciting, very engaging for the kids. The new BattleBots rivals will come as the two-pack for Beta and Minotaur. And the packaging includes kind of the exploded view to show you how the, the armor panels will be coming off. Again, all of Hexbug products have that kind of guts out, transparent casing feel. Gets you really good to feel for what's going on inside the robots. And the new Beta and Minotaur will also come as the single packs for uh, $29.99. Included as a controller uh, and everything you need to get running. So at the smaller scale, we also have the $4.99 Push Strike robots. These started out last year with uh, you know some of the Tombstone, and they actually have... Uh, actuating weapons as you roll them. So we're adding onto that line with even more. Nightmare with the spinning saw blade, Vita with the signature hammer, uh, and of course Bite Force with the flipper. These are really fun as collectibles. Uh, you can just keep them on your desk. Kids also like to collect them all. They're modeled extremely closely off of the real robots, off of the TV show, um, and built to scale for each other. 
So these came out last year with Bite Force, Witch Doctor, Bronco, and Tombstone. Really big uh, hit. And add, this year we're adding onto the line with Minotaur, Nightmare, and Beta. So brand new for this year, um, we're continuing to expand the Vex Robotics line, where you actually can build your own battle bots. So these have all the snap together Vex Robotics parts that are featured in the Hexbug Vex line and the Vex IQ line. But they also feature spinning weapons. So this is Minotaur with its signature spinning drum. And it actually spins the same direction regardless if you push it forward or backwards. And then you can also get Tombstone with its spinning blade on the front. Again, completely snapped together. The kids actually get to build these and see how they work and see how the gearboxes work. This will be $39.99 for Minotaur and $49.99 for Tombstone. So with all these new kits, you actually now have three total sizes for a couple of them, Minotaur and Tombstone. You go from the small push strike $5 price point up to the Rivals, which can be controlled by infrared. And then finally, the Vex IQ version, where the students can actually build their own uh, battle bots. For Tombstone, same story. You've got the small push strike, the remote controlled infrared rival, and the buildable Vex Tombstone. And you notice these uh, actually look slightly different. Uh, the ones with the red blade are from Season 1, and the ones with the blue blade is actually from Season 2. And the Vex BattleBot will include all the parts needed to go between the two of them as an alternate build. So students can build it, take it apart, and then build the other one as well.